The Catholic world was shaken when a fire raged, consuming Notre Dame Cathedral, sending flames and smoke far into the air. For more than 20 years, Elizabeth Lev has worked as an art historian at the Vatican. She comments on what the destruction of this cathedral means. I think there's, there's something really quite remarkable about Notre Dame. Notre Dame, in, many people sort of took as a took for granted. But mostly what Notre Dame is, it's a collective, it's as, it's as Pope Francis said, it's a, it's a, it's a historical jewel of a collect collective memory. It is a collective memory of faith. Liv expressed that this collective group embraced good and bad days, strikes, riots, the revolution, secularism, and even neglect. Yet the cathedral stood. Christian France, the eldest daughter of the church, the first nation to become, become Christian, they built this amazing church on this island, dedicating their geographical center to the mother of God. And everybody helped. Everything was part, everybody was part of this. This is an expression of the people of the love of God. French President Emmanuel Macron has made an appeal, asking for help to rebuild this cathedral in five years. Responses and more than $800 million in donations have ensued. People are rallying. They rally around, some because it's a cultural artifact, some on their knees praying, some standing and singing. But you know what we're looking at? We're looking at a people gathered together, and that's an ecclesia. So it's still doing its job bringing people together. From France to the United States and even the Vatican, countries are offering support. In fact, President Trump called Pope Francis to express his closeness in light of the event.